Hi, I'm Pastor Jim Lindis, and I welcome you to this Lenten series as we inch closer to Holy Week. Jesus was making his final journey to the holy city of Jerusalem. He knew that the cross waited for him there. Jesus, who said, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for another. No greater love. It was a cold winter night in the waters of the North Atlantic. Waters that had become a nautical highway, transporting hundreds of thousands of young soldiers to the European theater of World War II. The SS Dorchester made the precarious winter crossing, cutting through dark and icy water on the third day of February 1943. Her cargo, 904 soldiers and sailors, most of them had never been out of the United States before. At 12.55 a.m., most were sleeping when a torpedo from a German submarine struck the Dorchester and exploded. The electrical system on the ship was destroyed. The lights went out. It was dark. It was terrifying. It was chaos in the North Atlantic. The ship was doomed. Water was gushing in. The young, disoriented soldiers panicked. On board the Dorchester that very night, there were four chaplains. George Fox, a 42-year-old Methodist from Lewistown, Pennsylvania. Alexander Good, a 31-year-old rabbi from Brooklyn, New York. Clark Poling, a 32-year-old Baptist pastor from Columbus, Ohio, and John Patrick Washington, a 34-year-old Catholic priest from Newark, New Jersey. Into the darkness they moved, calming the men, guiding the wounded to lifeboats, handing out life jackets and praying over those who were dying. And when the life jackets ran out, the chaplains removed their own and secured them tightly around terrified young soldiers. The chaplains labored to load each lifeboat and ventured into the darkest recesses of that sinking ship looking for survivors. And when the work of the good shepherds was done, and any hope of their own survival was dashed, the four chaplains linked arms on the listing bow of the ship. They sang hymns together and prayed. The soldiers in lifeboats and those floating with life jackets would report seeing the four chaplains as they held each other and went down with the ship. There is no greater love, no greater love than this, that one would lay down their life for another. Now, most of us will never find ourselves on a sinking ship in the North Atlantic, but on our way to Jerusalem, as we journey through our life, we will have the opportunity to remove our life jackets offering security to a friend or stranger, to sacrifice on behalf of children or parents or spouse or neighbor. May God help us as we journey on. And now the Navy hymn, Eternal Father, strong to save. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm doth find the Oh, hear us when we cry 
Gracious Lord Jesus, as we move through the stormy seas, uncertain times, and experience unknown perils, give us the courage to look beyond our differences, to link our arms in unity, and to sing in the face of danger. Amen. Until next time. Mm-hmm.